Hey guys, it's Riley with DIY Things That Fly. I've got this JRC H8. You might also know it as an Eachine H8 because Eachine rebrands the same product, so does JRC. Anyways, you can get this thing online for about 20 bucks, I think. And it seems like a lot of fun to fly, but I want to make it fly FPV. And to do that, I'm going to be using this Hobby King Elite transmitter and camera combo. It transmits on 5.8 gigahertz. So let's go ahead and open the H8. Inside you get the quadcopter and its controller, transmitter. There's also some spare props, a USB charger. Looks like some spare foam parts. Not quite sure what that's for just yet. And a screwdriver. Include transmitter, uses three AAA batteries. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like the stock, but the included battery does not come outside of the quadcopter. So there are eight screws on the bottom of the quad, and we're just gonna take them all out. There are four more screws on the outside. Didn't realize there were in the first place, but we're gonna pull those out as well. Now we're able to separate the quad from its frame. To save weight, what I'm going to do is cut away as much of the frame as I can. Cut here. square off a bit. The PDB still sits in place. Motors can still go into their housing just fine. Now I'm going to go ahead and hook up the Elite video transmitter from Hobby King. The battery connector here has its positive and negative. We're just going to solder right onto there the positive and negative ports. We're going to solder the Elite camera transmitter combo. It's power cable. Before we do that, we're just gonna pull the Cam VTX combo out of its case to save a lot of weight. There are two tabs on the transmitter itself. Just lift the tabs out, and you should be able to pull the transmitter out of its casing. Let's cut the wire about halfway through. Power wire for the Elite Camera transmitter combo. Go ahead and strip the wire. Now you're going to want to plug in a soldering iron as well as a hot glue gun. Now I'll just add a bit of hot glue in the center of the antenna. Just because it's the weakest part and break in a crash. Now we're going to solder the positive and negative to the respective ports. Just plus goes to red, minus goes to black. After you're done soldering, be sure to check with your multimeter. Put it in continuity mode. That's the mode where if you touch the two probes together, they'll beep. And touch the positive and negative together. Check for a short. If it beeps like that, then you got a problem. Resolder and make sure there's no short. All right, that's better. No short. That should be good to go. Now I'm gonna go ahead, check what the voltage of the battery is at with the multimeter as well. This time I put it in voltage mode. Wanna make sure it's not completely flat. Okay, 3.79, so it's not dead yet. In fact, it's pretty, pretty close to full. You go ahead and plug in the battery. And we can tell that this is working because there's a light on the camera transmitter combo. It means if I go ahead and turn on any 5.8 receiver, right now I'm just going to use the TBS Tango, that I should be able to get video, and I do. Perfect. Yeah, I'm just going to add a little bead of hot glue over the top of the solder joint. First, I'm going to unplug the battery. Unplug the battery, add a little bit of hot glue just to make sure it does not come undone. Hopefully, ever. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead 
and set everything down in the casing the way it's supposed to be. Battery port facing backwards. Like that. And the battery I'm going to slide in. I'm having problems with my battery staying in because my battery's puffed up off the bat and it just doesn't fit into the casing. So I think I'm going to end up removing the casing and just using a rubber band to hold the battery in place. Now slide all the motors back into place. I'm just going to go ahead and screw in the outside screws. four outside screws. Alright, that should hold it in place pretty well. I'm going to go ahead and plug the battery in now. That way I can frame up the camera and make sure it's possible to, possible to fly with this. Alright, perfect. Now I'm going to add a bead of hot glue down the camera. and set it in place. Actually, I'm just gonna wait for this to finish to dry, and then when it's done drying, I'm going to put the other eight screws into the mini quad. Everything's hot glued down, just about done. All I'm gonna do now is cut off the battery case because it doesn't fit the battery. Just pretty bad design. Put it out there, just leave it like that, and then we'll wrap a rubber band around it. Alrighty, and there it is guys. Alright guys, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please rate, subscribe, hit the like button, and I'll see ya.